back to Trending so SA. You can join the conversation with the hashtag Tzah on three. Now, our guest tonight is one of the most powerful props ever seen on the rugby field, dubbed The Beast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, he has dominated that prop position for the Sharks and the Springboks for about 13 years. He has some of the most impressive rugby stats you'll ever see. 117 caps for the Springboks. He is the third most capped Springbok of all time. This is one player you don't mess with. I know that's right. Tendaim Tawarira has cemented his place in the South African Sports Hall of Fame. He joins us now to give us a glimpse into the man behind the machine. Welcome to Training SA, the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thank just, you. I'm just Thank you so much for you know, that wonderful uh, uh, intro. I'm really uh, grateful to be on this platform with you guys. Yeah. Now, Beast, um, for, uh, I've always screamed Beast when you were playing for the Sharks. Now I get to scream it and you can actually hear me. So <laughs> I'm going to introduce my question by saying Beast. <laughs> A little birdie <laughs> told us that you are studying. What are you studying? Yeah, so here, yeah, man, I've uh, put on my thinking cap since last year. I've started uh, uh, this journey towards an MBA with Henley Business School. So uh, uh, at, at the moment, I'm about to finish my postgraduate diploma. Sure. I'm having exams next week, man, and then the MBA starts in junior. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. What are you doing with your lives? <laughs> so you went into retirement straight after that amazing World Cup win. How has life been outside of the spring box? Uh, you know what? Um, it's been pretty uh, good, you know. Uh, the transition has been uh, quite uh, seamless, you know, because I always knew what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know, after my rugby career. Uh, I certainly miss, you know, running out and uh, playing for the green and gold, mm -hmm. representing the Springboks, you know, uh, with passion. And yeah, it's, uh, it, it's it was a special, special journey, you know. Um, you know, I came full circle in my career, and all I wanted to do at the end was win, win the World Cup. So I was so grateful that I could end on the highest of highs. Yep. So I still yeah. this. <laughs> 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 Speaking of uh, ending on the highest of highs, you know, you played with the Springboks for the longest of time. You have very really beautiful moments. I'm sure you built lifelong friendships, you know. Um, what do you miss the most about being with the boys, with the team? I mean, I can imagine what it was like winning and then going to the change room after that. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, you know, the bonds that uh, I created on the field, you know, uh, with my teammates, uh, I promise you, uh, you know, the, those are bonds for life. You know, and I'm grateful to have uh, met so many great characters, you know, guys like Sia, Ibn Etzebit, mm. you know, guys that I used to spend every single day with. Mm. And, uh, you know, to this day, we speak like every second day, you know, mm. so we've got a really strong relationship. And it's something that I treasure, you know, the camaraderie and the sportsmanship, you know, that you you have on the rugby pitch, it's special. Okay, so Zeri, um, that's what I call him in the DMs, guys. Um, so when you're not playing rugby, when you're not working, when you're not macking on me in the DMs, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> uh, well, you know, um, I actually uh, love to spend time with my family. Uh, you know. <laughs> I love that answer. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> my kids. <laughs> Thanks a lot, producers. <laughs> I'm doing something here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, cool. So the conversation around the greatest athlete of all time also popped onto a timeline. And I'm curious to find out from you as our very own GOAT. Um, we were debating on the socials. I mean, for me, it's definitely Serena Williams. But between Serena, LeBron, Tom Serena, Brady. LeBron, Tom Brady. Tiger Woods, and Tom Brady, who would you say is your GOAT or the GOAT? Ooh, uh, for me, you know what? It's pretty simple. It's LeBron James. Yep. Uh, I'm a huge, huge NBA fan, and I've uh, followed, uh, I've followed uh, LeBron James, you know, since he got drafted. So I'm quite, uh, yeah, an avid fan of his. So yeah. Yeah, there are only two two choices there, um, but we're not going to get into that one right now. <laughs> now I know that you're in the uh, Major League Rugby side, Old Glory DC. But I'm kind of curious, right? So when you heard that Rock Nation had bought a stake in the Sharks, mm. I mean, what popped into your mind? You know, was there a bit of, oh, man, 
you know, I think I missed that. I missed that that Rock Nation uh, train. <laughs> did I? Did I? You, you know, what, what popped into your mind? No, I, I, you know what? I, I was super excited. That's the first thing that popped into my mind. You know, thinking about the endless possibilities mm. that the you know you know these guys bring into sport. You know, Rock Nation and uh, you know just basically American brands. You know, so I was really excited for the Sharks brand to really take off. You know, and be known in the U.S. So uh, yeah, for myself, I missed the boat. I missed the <laughs> boat. You know, but I guess now I can play some sort of a role. You know, um, as yeah. a mentor. I'm still still quite involved with the Sharks. So, yeah. yes. All right, Beast. Um, gosh, wow. I just can't get over. Zaddy. I can't Zaddy. get over the I'm thirst Zaddy. on that side. Zaddy. Yeah. Zaddy. So I just want to know, out of the upcoming guys that um, in the divisions that, you know, coming into play, uh, who should we look out for? Who is the next Beast? Who is the next Sia Colisi? Like, out of the young upcoming guys. Jeez, there's a there's a lot of good young players coming up, you know, and uh, I'm really excited for the future of the Springboks. Mm. I think we are in safe hands. So if I had to really zone in and think of, uh, um, yeah, a youngster that is going to make it uh, onto the big stage, I think it's Similani. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love his play, his style, you know, um, and what he has done for the Lions. And I think he is primed for bigger things, you know. So I definitely would say it's uh, Similani. And, uh, yeah, you'll be competing for that number 13 jersey with Lucanio very oh. soon. All right. Okay. So so we recently found out through IG conversation with the WWE superstar Kofi Kingston that you have a keen interest in wrestling. Um, and the name Beast will forever be associated with you on the rugby field. So if you are actually to become a wrestler, what would your wrestling name be? <laughs> now nah, my wrestling name would be Beast. No, yeah, yeah, don't, change yeah, yeah. don't change the name. <laughs> well, listen, so much can be discussed with you, Beast. You're an absolute icon. You're a legend. When we appreciate you and everything you've contributed to the you. sport. Thank you so much for your time <laughs> and thank you for being such a great sport, even with our own leopard here in the studio. <laughs> uh, it's an absolute pleasure, and okay, I look forward you. to getting with you. <laughs> 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 That's what, man.